Vivian. No, it's Vivian. Vivian is the, like, Vivian and Ajani are both very miserable because they just stat buff. And so they um, really showcase why aggro has always had such a hard time with mid-range decks. And it just puts it on full display. I would like a one drop if I'm going to draw four cards. There we go. Okay. If my hand's good enough, I might be able to. It just sucks they're going first so they get to uh, hold the upgrade. I'm hoping it's just a keyword as long as the keyword is an armor instead of stats for the first one that they do. Uh, I heard this stadium needs wrecking. And she's in the lead. My luck, it'll be like plus zero, plus three. Show them your teeth. Okay, I don't care about sneak. Pretty sure that's sneak. Backy, backy. Run! <laughs> I'm probably just gonna go blitzing Minotaur next Adapt turn. Adapt and survive. Yeah, for sure. Actually, I'm not. I'm gonna do this. Tear them Perfect. And then Minotaur's gonna be turn three, obviously. That is not what we want to see. I'd rather keep my board alive. So I have more triggers off a of Hell Rider. Okay, so same life. Now this turn I'm expecting an upgrade into uh, creature. Show them your teeth. Yeah, plus one, plus two. Like, great. Walls and guns. Yeah, of course, it's plus two, so it gets around this. Oh, I needed that top deck. I needed that top deck very badly. This card is really simple, but it really increases the power level of this deck by a lot. Okay, he just made my flame shot really sick. So I can go uh, flame shot to the face, that'll take it out for one. He'll probably get a block, hopefully not two blocks. But if just one of these gets through with the flame shot, then we're probably going to win. That has haze too, right? No, it doesn't. Now I'm not gonna flame shot his face. I'm actually gonna flame shot the four three. I'm absolutely flame shotting the four three. Okay. You're wide open. Okay, so we need to find Lava Axe or um, next turn I might even just play a bunch of creatures, not swing, and then Hell Rider uh, try and kill him. Woo! Okay, I'm telling you guys, that didn't look bad there, but that is a very hard matchup. Um, I lose it most of the time with Chandra. I think we're favored, but they do have like 
if they run solo wood and they see it. Um, I'm trying to think if they have crab and they see it early, that could slow us down. Yeah, I like this hand. And getting the uh, fish for an early blocker to stop some of our damage early is obviously really good. Okay. Huh. You know what, I think I am just gonna try and attack through the crab. Okay, perfect. I was hoping he would be greedy like that, trying to save it for the 4-3, but next turn we're going to Gigantic Growth. Yeah, I knew he was going to have the Tide Shaper, because they always do. Okay, I take it back. We'll go right through them. Uh -huh. So we're going to have the 3-2 left that... Okay, so we have the Minotaur. Okay, and then next turn, we have Vicious Mongrel. Okay, that hurts a lot. I don't like it when people are heads up enough to play that. Wow, he let me get the damage. Was not expecting that. Rider's gonna come down and do a lot of damage next turn. So if he messes up and gets greedy and tries to ramp, then we're super good. Okay. What's the best way of doing this? Is it flame shot, dealing one, getting rid of a blocker, making sure this dies? Like, probably. And my creatures don't die. This real, giant growth really helps creatures persist for Hellrider. Okay, now he's effectively at two. Got another one. All right, let's see who our third opponent is. Raw, okay. So, again, this is another matchup that's really draw dependent. I think that we're favored, but I don't think it's more than like 60-40, might be less than that. So I'm gonna keep the Tusker, even though I usually hard mull for one drops. Just because the one drop's gonna trade into basically everything they have early. And I'm goaded, so I get it anyway. Yeah, that card's so good. So we're gonna hope he doesn't play more than one spell so I can attack freely. Even if he does, we still have to attack. Just it would be nice if I could get a trade. And if they wanna be greedy and take the two one, um, that's fine. That means they're just gonna take a lot of damage. I'm hoping he drew a slower turn so he can't just start snowballing. Which one is 
this. Same one I'm running, okay. Okay, looks like it's gonna be just one unless he has Spark of Genius, which he does not. Uh, yeah. We'll go right now if he's greedy, he's gonna go down to 12. Take this. Ooh, that's dangerous. Okay. Now next turn, hopefully I can do anything alongside Giant Growth. But if not, my next two turns hit really hard. I want to know everything. Okay. Probably has a zero drop spell. Okay, giant growth is just fantastic here. I want him to have to give up the stronger one if he wants to block it all. If he doesn't block, then I think I just win the game. Take this. No. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, Pyroclasm isn't even good here. Yep. It's definitely Hellrider next turn while I still have a board presence. Hellrider puts in a lot of work. Take this. No. That's so greedy. It's so greedy. I mean, I get if he blocks the other one, he's at four, so he dies to a lot of other stuff anyway, but. Yeah. All right, cool, another win. I just destroyed a uh, Kiora. I just forgot to press record, so. Uh, yeah, still a scrub at this. Okay, another row. I'm just hopping in and playing games when I feel good. And then usually when I lose, I just take a step back for a few hours. I'll play some Fortnite, watch some shows or something, and then, then I'll come back. Very nice starting hand. Oh, he's playing the good version. Let's go. The uh, artifact-centric version. Yep, that's why it's good. Hopefully, he doesn't get a shock as well and just destroy all my momentum. I see. Yeah, I think I will. Just get rid of the blocker. He might be greedy and hold it for the 4-3. Okay. I was going to say, that'd be tremendous. I was considering not doing anything there and holding up the gigantic growth, but then on 3 I'd be wasting a mana. Um, like, I want to do both of those on turn four, but I might not get anything to utilize all three mana next turn anyway. Shock. Okay.
Very nice. Okay, so we just play a big dude that's probably gonna get shocked. Yep. This does not look good. That is what I needed to have any chance in this game. A big haster. What I don't like is that his chain lightnings are pretty far developed already. Wow, that was we'll go right through them. <laughs> more than I ever could have wished for. No so I've got three reach in my hand so far. That is excellent. I am actually really glad that that happened. Um, make him harder for him to put bodies on the board. And if he plays Chain Lightning, I'm hoping that the vicious mongrel just somehow soaks up a lot of it. That'd be fantastic. Ugh. He's thinking of a way out, which, you know, I understand. Gotta move. Yeah, that's not what he wants to do. Okay, that see that makes that makes a lot of sense to me. Oh man, that might have been enough to keep him in the game. When they get that spell that heals like that, I mean, I don't know if he runs it naturally, but I doubt it. It was probably off of the Jolt of Inspiration, right? So he's effectively at four. The Serpent is definitely a problem. Yep. Yeah. Wow, that is just very nice. Ooh. Fight the fire, get burned. You know what? I quit. Curious to see what the trophies are at now. Plus forty. Wow, I've never seen a plus forty before. I don't think. Is there like a win streak bonus in this game? I don't think so. Maybe he was just that high up. I'm not sure. Wasn't paying attention to it. Did my game crash or what? Well, I'll just play another game then. Alright, this is probably going to be the last one. Okay, I think I versed this guy earlier today. I did get it, but like super barely. I think he was running just a basic mountain. And um, he was running the um, Chandra card that I'm not running. The 2-drop that's like a 3-1 that deals 2 when it attacks. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll keep it. Okay, no, it's not the same guy. This is the one that adds a spell, right? Temporary card, okay. Run. 
I can't tell you how many games I win off of this. I will never not run Active Volcano. It's gotten rid of blockers for me. Um, it's done the last bit of face damage. Like this combined with Chandra's ability just seems way too strong to ignore. Okay, obviously I'm gonna block one. Playing the stat stick. Coloni and Tusker. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Maybe it is the same guy and he just changed the land out. Um, I was trying to pull it back. I hate how I have to go back like that. I don't know, if he trades, that's not the end of the world for me. He might get greedy and... Okay, wow, okay, this was actually ideal for me then. And healing myself four is just really clutch in the mirror. Okay, it makes sense now. Uh, do I want to block? Hmm. I guess so. Just wish I had a beefier creature. Okay, here we go. Now I feel fine. It's not the most mana efficient, but I really want to get the effect off on that. That's why green is my splash color, because this card's crazy. Yep. There we go. Alright, I think that's all the videos for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed them. And I'll post another one tomorrow.